228 aphorism organon of medicine in mental and emotional diseases resulting from corporeal maladies which can only be cured by homeopathic antisoric medicine conjoined with carefully regulated mode of life and appropriate psychical behavior towards the patient on the part of those about him and of the physician must be righteously observed by way of an auxiliary mental regimen to furious mania we must oppose calm fearless and cool firm resolution to sorrow querulous lamentations a mute display of compassion in looks and gestures to senseless chattering a silence not wholly in and attentive to disgusting and hateful conduct to conversation of a similar character total in attention we must merely endeavor to prevent the destruction and injury of surrounding objects without reproaching the patient for his acts and everything must be arranged in such a way that the necessity of any corporeal punishments and tortures whatever may be avoided this is so much the more easily affected because in the administration of the medicine the only circumstance in which the employment of force could be justified in the homeopathic system the small doses of the appropriate medicine never offend the taste and may consequently be given to the patient without his knowledge in his drinks so that all compulsion is unnecessary footnote it is impossible not to marvel at the hard heartedness and lacking good judgment of the medical men in many establishments for patients of this kind not only in england but also in germany who without attempting to discover the true and only efficacious mode of curing such diseases which is by homeopathic medicinal antisoric means content themselves with torturing these most pitiable of all human beings with the most violent blows and other painful torments by this unconscious and revolting procedure they debase themselves beneath the levels of the term keys in a house of correction for the latter inflict such chastisements as the duty devolving on their office and on criminals only while the former appear from a humiliating consciousness of their uselessness as physicians only to vent their spite at the supposed incurability of mental diseases in harshness towards the pitiable innocent sufferers for they are too ignorant to be of any use and too indolent to adopt a judicious mode of treatment